Hello and welcome my friend and how are you doing? Next I am planning to show you that how works this timing chain. And timing chain is this part in here and it is really chain. And let's go to look closer and there is there is chain in here. This is similar than timing belt but chain what is high quality like these cars, this Toyota's VVT engines chain this last normally five to ten times more. This this that's this chain is better choice. And car manufacturers man manufacturers choose the best chain and Toyota's chains are really excellent. Okay, and then how this chain works. Chains, this mine purpose is to keep this part, what is this crankshaft, crankshaft, uh, this big shaft, what is in here below, and also this cam shafts in here in same face and face, like in same step and just in same steps when they rotate there is idea that this part must be they must move in just same speed and in same in the right positions and let's look how we can test that I take for this friends and this bolt in here this is the always the right bolt what we can rotate in like clockwise in that way and then this chain start to move in that way and the idea is that when I move when I, I rotate that that this chain there is idea that in same same way when this part moves in here like one inch in here in that area in same thing that camshaft what is in here this is X housed camshaft it moves in same amount and also in here this is intake camshaft and what is this idea okay let's go to go look closer when we look these camshafts these camshafts they moves those valves valves and I take my valve and valve looks like that and there is idea that, that there is this two sides of valves and these smaller valves they goes in this X housed area and these bigger valves and we look this is bigger they goes in intake area and how I can see that what is intake intake or X housed there is really a trick. Look these pipes. And what are black? It is easy to analyze that it is like dirty and it is like exhaust pipe. It is really easy to think. And then when we look in this intake area, there is this this intake areas holes, they are really clean. Okay, easy easy job easy job to analyze okay and this this is this situation that when when these valves they should they normally moves in that kind of movement and when they are in up then they are closed and when they go down they are open okay and and these cam shafts these parts in here, but I a little bit move. They they move, they open and close these valves. This part in here, this is like cam shaft, this nose and head. And they these parts they press down these valves in that way, and then when they are in up, like in here, then this valve is valve is up. Very easy. And in that position, 
this camshaft in ex intake area is going to press down these cylinders, these valves in here. The valves are in here, this inner area. They are like in here, in that position. Valves position, they are, their loca location is this. And then when camshaft press they down, they move in that position and then up. This is this position in, in here inside. In these holes in here. Th these holes, they are in here. Where those camshafts heads goes, they press down these valves in that way. And let's look at how it works. Now these camshafts are up and it means that this valve is like closed. And I, I saw that they are in that position. And then when I I take my tool and I rotate that little bit and we look that when these camshafts goes in down and down means that they open this valve. Okay now they are not yet in there but soon now they are in almost down and that means that now this valve start to go deeper and then sorry then when this camshaft is totally down this valve goes about that amount in deep in in this cylinder head area and then this is like open position and then this gas is like like exhaust gas gas they can go out in that hole to exhaust pipe. And same idea when these intake cams they press this intake valve down, then gasoline goes in this cylinder. Very easy job. And that's this timing chain must be in just right position. And there is this timing change area and then when engine is running it happens so that that this engine this belt is moving really fast and this speed is really fast because when if there is 6000 turns per minute it means that this this uh, chain goes up and down about I estimate that that this at least 6,000 times per minute and it is really fast speed if, if you think that this chain goes like 6,000 rotations per minute it is huge speed in this chain and that's this chain is really special special steel and this is not this is not uh, similar than like bicycles chain this is more extremely high quality chain and and then when if we need to replace this chain there is only very important that that we remember to install this chain in just in right position and next I, I am planning to show you that how we can replace this chain and I will show that next